What's going on guys and girls? It's your boy Retrospective here back at it with a brand new video uh, Today we're back and we're bringing you a brand new one uh, with my friend who was on my last video and Basically, we're on our way to one of the MSF course uh, parking lots basically, I'm gonna be showing him um, the little maneuvers that he'll have to learn to do inside of the MSF course and basically everything they'll teach him um, so that way he's a little bit more comfortable when he when he takes the test and when he when he goes into the course he's a little bit more prepared than than most of the other people in there and honestly it's better to be prepared than to not be prepared because if you're not prepared you might scare yourself you might get nervous and you don't want to be worrying yourself about little things if you're prepared you're not gonna be worrying about the little things you're gonna be all right you're gonna be just fine and you're gonna be thinking it's a normal day just learning a, a new skill uh, but it's gonna be a lot of fun for you if you're more prepared than than not prepared so if this is one of your first times watching one of my videos be sure to hit that subscribe button below as well as that uh, bell so that way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video uh, I am wearing different gloves and these are actually my winter gloves reason being is it's actually very brisk and uh, cold out tonight for some odd reason and normally I don't do night rides but I figured you know what it's Moto Monday why don't we do a night ride something different for Moto Monday this time we'll go night riding and we'll go out to a little parking lot and show you what that's all about about how to maneuver in the MSF course and different little tricks of the trade that you can learn so stay tuned for that if you're interested in learning some tips and tricks stay tuned to the end and you'll be sure to learn a few other things uh, that guy just flashed his lights at me and the reason being is because I'm riding at night and I'm riding a motorcycle I'm not gonna drive with only one light on because that doesn't make sense for me okay it doesn't make sense for you if I'm coming at you and you're driving at this way against me you're not gonna see me because that lights out now if I don't have that light on what then like there's nothing that's gonna say hey I'm right here there's nothing showing you that I'm here when I'm turning that light on it's technically my high beam that's that's but that's what we have for nighttime what's what bikers have for nighttime and when we turn that on we sometimes get flashed or people get annoyed at us that it's really bright but guess what you see us don't you um, and basically that's what saves our lives just how bright our light our lights are and how loud our engines are now my engine personally it's not that loud my exhaust is very quiet as well um, it's a low engine bike it's not a it's not like a rocket that'll that'll take off in the in the blink of an eye but it, it will take off like like something you haven't seen before if you've never seen a motorcycle before but basically my my bike doesn't make a whole lot of sound uh, to be honest also I definitely saw you guys in the comments below that you want to see some abandoned uh, discovery videos and um, I'm definitely gonna be trying to look out for new abandoned places that I can go into obviously I can't go into what was once the McNeil mansion um, so maybe I'll try to make a layout tutorial video to show you what that was kind of like inside but I'll try to find a new abandoned place that we can go into and explore together that way you get a little bit of uh, excitement or thrill maybe we'll find something that's a little spooky or haunted and have some paranormal activity encounters uh, which wouldn't be too fun for me but I'm sure you'll have a great time watching it so yeah it's kind of cold out so I'm uh, really glad that I wear the uh, winter gloves tonight because otherwise my uh, gloves would have definitely been making my hands very cold and uh, probably wouldn't have been feeling them by this point I'm not sure if it's just me um, but I personally would rather ride out in the cold weather compared to the hot weather any day um, because you can always warm yourself up but you can't always cool yourself down um, that may make sense, sense to some people but maybe not to all NASCAR feels like I'm racing NASCAR in this car Anybody who looks at me is going to be like, what the hell is wrong with that guy? Look, a bunch of people aren't going to see me that I stepped into the car with a helmet on. They're going to see me step out. They're going to be like, 
What is that? <laughs> so, we may not have the best light when we get there, but hopefully we do. Uh, just in case, if we don't have good light, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video until this point and we'll try to get back to it at another date, but we'll see as, if we can get there. If not, then this won't even make it into the video. So yeah guys, there's not much light here as you can see, so uh, this is where we're going to be ending the video and calling it a day. Um, we're going to try to get out here earlier next time and that way we can show you guys what that course actually looks like. Although it does look like there is some um, overgrown forestation happening right now, but you can see all the lines on the, on the pavement. They all actually mean something and represent something. And this is the, uh, the so-called box right here in front of me, but you can't really see it that well. But basically you have to do a figure eight inside this box and it's somewhat of a challenge for new, new bikers, but for experienced bikers, it's uh, not that hard. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to stay tuned till next time. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. Also click that bell to be notified of whenever I upload brand new videos. Until next time guys, Ride safe and stay classy. <laughs> oh, what? I can't hear you, bitch. Let's go, bitch. It's like, no, I'm kidding. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> All right. Time to go home. Until next time. Hey! <laughs>